Hello, and welcome to Assassin's Creed Brotherhood. Yo yo. Alright, you're about to play an offline mode. <clears throat> you will not have access to multiplayer mode. Friends, you will not have access to friends. Haha, <laughs> jokes are new, I don't have any. Let's go. Actually, wait just a second. Um, subtitles on. And no, no graphics. Audio. Is there no audio? I want to maybe decrease the sounds of people talking. No? Uh, okay, whatever. Uh, friends? What's friends? Okay, whatever. Let's go. <clears throat> this moment. I don't think anyone ever expects to wake up one morning and find themselves caught in the middle of a war between two secret organizations. I know I didn't. But here I am. On one side are the Templars, better known these days as Abstergo Industries. They're in the business of control. Politics, economics, technology. They won't stop until every single one of us serves them. Literally. Fighting against them are the Assassins, a group dedicated to safeguarding humanity's free will. I was born into the Brotherhood. You're biased. A couple of weeks ago, the Templars found me. They took me prisoner strapped me into a machine they built and put me to work. It's called an Animus. That's where I spent most of my time. Exploring the memories of my ancestors, discovering entire lives locked deep inside my DNA. First, I revisited the life of Altair ibn La'ahad, an assassin from the Crusades. The Templars wanted the location of something known as a Piece of Eden, an ancient artifact capable of bending people to their will. Once the Templars had what they were looking for, they decided my usefulness had come to an end. But Lucy saved me. Lucy. When things were at their worst, she revealed herself to be an assassin and helped me escape. I was hoping that would be the end of my misadventures. But we were just getting started. Back into another Animus I went. Now, I'm reliving the memories of Ezio Auditore da Firenze, my ancestor from the Renaissance, searching for a path forward. Through the bleeding effect, I'm becoming an assassin in more than just name. It will come in handy as the Templars prepare to enslave us all. They found us. They've crashed our hideout and we're fleeing the scene looking for a place to hide. Only there isn't any and time is running short. My name is Desmond Miles, and this is my story. And now you're thinking, <gasps> are you gonna play as a new assassin? Someone else other than Ezio? We're continuing Ezio's storyline and watching him fight in some battle. How did you find him? Mario Alvitore, let me hear. Here. Is this memory going uh, the other way around? It's like Memento. Uh, Rebecca? What's going on? Shoes. I have to run some diagnostics. I'll get back to you. Okay. Understand. Please wait. Am I wearing There's so many or questions. Or am I? Little Vaticano. It's December. Did we 
did the Assassin's Creed 2 show this? Uh, the. The. Whatchamacallit? The month? Profession Assassin. Well, this experience has been quite the, uh, the education. Well, there's nothing in the history books following Ezio's disappearance from Florence as a teenager after the execution of his father and brothers. You now know that he fled with his mother Maria and, his, and sister Claudia to his uncle Mario's Toscan villa. Trained there as an assassin, he prepared to hunt down the Templars, the men behind the execution, and hunt them. And hunt them he did, killing them one by one till he reached their leader Rodrigo Poche. With the help of his uncle and the other assassins, he discovered Rodrigo's plan to open an ancient world beneath the Vatican, supposedly leading to God himself. Ezio defeated Rodrigo, entered the vault alone, and communed with the projection of Minerva, a member of an ancient race that existed before humans. This all sounds very far-fetched when I write it out like that, now doesn't it? Fortunately, we have the animus records to prove it, so we didn't dream it or anything, unless we're all in a dream right now. Uh, silly show. And this looks a bit better, well, a lot better in, uh, in this game than in second one. One of the things that improved in uh, Brotherhood is the uh, graphics. And for some reason we have half the money that we did before. Well, not for some reason. This is not synced or anything. The second game. Oh no, he's gone. He left his clothes. Or his robe thing. I don't know. So his beard looks better in this game. I'm wearing a leather glove, leather shoulder pad thing. When did it Ezio manage to switch his clothes? still here we could have trapped him in here. Better in the hands of the okay, earth no. than in the hands of man. Uncle. What can I say? He sent a single man against an entire army. I was worried. Quick, climb up. We have to get out of here. Let me just check the options now. Nothing? General? Yay, okay. Um let's change this to seven. Music to seven, voices to let's say nine. That's fine. Cool. Please. Okay. Let's go. Uh, right. Let's bounce. We cannot run. Oh, I need to check where to climb. Maybe. Alright. Okay. I mean, it's obvious. Or is it? I think I was supposed to go that way. Wow, that was way quicker in climbing now than he was in the second game. And way, way, way faster than Altair. You would not believe the things I have seen, Mario. Then be sure to stay alive Good that soldier. I might hear of them. Mario. I expect opposition. And I expect the Borgia to mourn the loss of many lives tonight. Tonight? Mario. Condottiere. Condottiero. One of several important condottieri patrolling the Toscan countryside. Mario de Torre was a born leader. He began his military career as a six year old, and he played a significant role in the Florentine and Milanese conflict at the Battle of Anacchiari. While on an expedition to Monterchi with his father, he alerted the Florentine general Micheletto Attendolo the appearance of several dust clouds over the road which signaled the surprise advance by Milanese troops. Thanks to Mario, the Milanese attack was foiled and the Florentines won the battle. I think we already read this from the second game, didn't we? Yeah, I think we should just read the last paragraphs. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, after Giovanni's death, Mario brought Ezio, Claudia and Maria to the family villa and taught Ezio about the conflict between the assassins and Templars. Ever since, Ezio and his uncle have been ir inseparable. Oh, Well, we did separate at one point and then we saw Mario by surprise. Um, in, uh, in Venice. <clears throat> Che cosa fate qui? Assassini! God will see you pay for your crimes! Yes, you have nice. desecrated the sanctity of this holy place! You condemn what you do not understand! We must go, Ezio! Now! Let's bounce. Porca miseria! Is it the voice of the devil? Let me go. How come you're an assassin but you don't wear assassin's clothes? And all the Did other Rodrigo guys. Did Rodrigo manage to hurt you? Barely. My armor blunted his attack. Really? Be ready to fight. Alright. Oh, we only have one blade? Why? Oops. Oh, now we have two. What are you doing? Saving you on the lookup. <laughs> Not bad for an old man. Agree, you still have some skill. Buona questa. Excellent. Look at that, I can do combos now. Good one. Impressive. So easy, man. I mean, these guys are very easy to kill anyway, but later on they probably will get a bit harder to kill. And look, there's a horse in the city. Oh, whoa, whoa, it's here, it's here, I'm here. Uh oh. Oh, dude, come on, stop it. Sorry, sorry, oh my god, I'm so sorry, dude. Free running is so much smoother than the second one. Then I, I didn't remember uh, that being the case when I first played it. But you know, whatever. Faster. I can hear chests or something. What? Such a fast climb, dude. Awesome. This decision is yours alone to make. Only do so quickly. Don't throw it into the river or water, whatever. Give it to me. You can do with it as you will later. Bene. Jump! Look, I'll see him. We're in Rome. Honestly, I don't really like Rome that much. I didn't even like it before it went to there. went to there in real life, and I didn't really like it when I went there. I mean, it's nice. I actually know I do like Rome. Just compared to Venice, Florence, it's not as awesome. But it's still good, it's still good. Rome's awesome. Monte Regione, one year later.
Wait, January, no, it's uh, a couple months later. Or one month later, I guess. Let's read about this. If there's any new info. Extraordinary, though, the Tori were allowed to continue the rule. Nothing. Nerva talked about the sun. She told of a disaster that occurred long ago, and another that is coming. Sometime far in the future, Vero. Then we need not worry about it. See, si. perhaps our work is finished. Would that perhaps. be so bad? Oh dear. <laughs> we upgraded the arsenal while you were away. Oh, and it is now customary for you to fire cannonballs at visitors. My apologies. We only installed them a few days ago. My men are still being trained in their use. It would be funny if you got hit by a cannonball right now and died. Cannonballs, damn dude. <clears throat> Are we riding into the city? Or is that not allowed? Only in Rome? Oh yeah, baby. Welcome back, Ezio! Ezio! Look Everyone at Ezio! Me? Let me see! Buongiorno! It's good to be home! Look at the two of them! This place just keeps getting better. <laughs> Thanks to you. Claudia. Claudia. It is good to be home. How is mother? She's fine. I, I heard you were returning, but I'm glad to see it with my own eyes. The Contessa of Forli is here to welcome you. Oh, I had Sophia. no idea you were so famous. Katarina. Or Katarina. Huh? Sorry, damn it, I keep mixing up the names. Is the Spaniard truly dead? Nope. Gather the others in Mario's study tonight. I'll explain everything there. Steal yourself, Ezio. They will have many questions. Claudia, tell the Contessa I look forward to seeing her this evening. Aha. Uh -huh. Claudia. Um. Okay, uh. Claudia. Claudia remain. Wait, 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 wait. The third uh, the child of Giovanni. Uh, after the murder of Giovanni and her two brothers, all that changed. Claudia. Well, I guess you can read all of it. Uh, the third child of Giovanni and Maria de Tori, and the first girl in the family. Claudia lived a, a privileged childhood in Florence, a high society. After the murder of Giovanni and her two brothers, all that changed. Claudia, Ezio, and Maria fled to Monte Giovanni and the safety of their uncle. Um, Mario's villa. Claudia remained at the villa caring for her nearly comatose mother while Ezio set off to avenge the murders. A record book, a record book recovered from by archaeologists reveals a relatively unexciting existence. Between months spent managing the villa's finances, brief periods of activity were supplied by Ezio's visits and the renovations she was able to carry out with the money brought back from his travels. Under her care, the town blossomed, ushering in a new era of prosperity. For Matri Giovanni, Claudia, however, remained cut off from the world she loved. To hear of Ezio's adventures only reminds me of my own lack thereof. This is not the life I dreamed of as a child. Ezio does not understand. He treats me so delicately I despair of ever emerging from the prison from his prison. She writes in one particularly poignant letter dated July 1495, just five years ago, or six. Wait, so we have some missions to do. It's just to help people around. It's kinda like a tutorial. Can we talk to you? You're a rabbi, but we cannot talk to you. The men in this town are no better than little girls. An army should be helping me. And look, no one. Aww, look at you. Need some help. Salve. So many flowers. Your husband must be very lucky. I am the lucky one. I have you here to aid me. Oh. Let me see what I can do. 
Back there, I may have given you the wrong impression. Oh? I have no husband. The flowers are for a party. Oh my. Am I invited? To Claudia Auditori's birthday party in the villa. If you are willing to help me again, I need someone with class to accompany me. What Gee. makes you think I have class? I could tell the moment I saw you. No one in this town walks with such bearing. I'm certain Ezio Auditori himself would be impressed. Oh? What do you know of Ezio? Claudia thinks the world of him, but he rarely visits her. From what I gather, he's distant. She is right. I have been. Oh no. You? The party was intended to be a surprise. Promise you not her Claudia. Haha. <laughs> is there anything new here? Nope. What will you do to keep me quiet? I am sure I can think of several things. I'll be waiting to hear them when we get there. Such a flirty guy. Oh, the door's closed. Why? And the flag thingies are gone. Banners. Oh, no, there's about a... earning my silence. I have something in mind. There is one condition. Anything. You must wait until tomorrow. If it pleases you, I will not stand in your way. It will be worth the wait, Ezio. Trust me. You're right. Banner looks a bit different though, and there's just only one. I think there were two or like a bunch everywhere. Oh, there's a flag there. Awesome, let's go. No one is training. Everyone's practicing the cannonball shooting. Let's see what's my outfit actually. Or armor that is. Nothing. Great. Sword of Altair. Uh, this. So pretty much everything the same apart from this, which is not what I had. And armor is weird then. You have two locked things, I wonder what they are. Well, I know one of them, I don't remember what was the other. Uh, Keys of Romulus, Borgia flags, oh no, the flags from the first game appeared and the feathers are still here for some reason, even though we are supposedly collected all of them in the whole world. Florentine Noble Attire, oh, from the first game. Armor of Altair. Altair's robe, oh wow. Traction armor? I don't know what that is. Okay. So yeah, I guess I have uh, DLCs or something, I don't know. Uh, doctors. Oh, you're not wearing the... No, you are wearing the thing. Yeah, I'm just not gonna bother reading many of these things. Since I think the information is pretty much the same as from the second game. Unless there's new characters. Well, of Buongiorno. course there should be. Ezio, Mario is going to murder me! I have lost his favorite horse! Do not despair. I will bring it back. God bless you, Ezio! Alright. Is that him? Oh dear. Come here, baby. Come here. Come here. Come here. Shift, shift, shift. Why is it not working? Noise. Yeah. The icon keeps here. switching from Grazie, double Ezio. plates. I can no longer keep plate. up with the horses. Promise me you will enjoy your good health. Do not spend as much time in battle as your Uncle Mario. My battles have already been won. Oh, that is good news. Arrivederci, Ezio. Arrivederci. Awesome. Do we have to climb on the wall? Maybe test the cannons? So, another addition in this game is uh, this thing. 
We run up it and boom. And again, boom. Awesome. Oh, hey, we're gonna shoot the cans. Hopefully. 